I'd like to know how much is the fees for the pharmacy technician preparation and how long will it take to complete it. Hi, this course will take 9 months to complete and the fees are $15,200. Would you like to come to our campus? Our class is starting next month. No thank you, I will do this whole thing in one month. Now I will tell you how to pass PTCB exam in 30 days. The first thing I did was evaluating myself. I only knew three or four drug names, like Advil, Tylenol, Pepto-Bismol, Imodium. I don't like math about converting like milligram, kilogram, and liter. I find the whole thing annoying, and I had zero knowledge of pharmacy laws, but I still passed the PTCB exam in 30 days. Here is the study plan. Number one, study three hours daily for the next 30 days. One hour to memorize drug names. I have to learn 200 drug names because I'm going to work in the pharmacy. The first challenge was how to learn. Some people find to arrange in ascending order, or some like to make a group like penicillin, psyllin, amoxicillin. But to learn all, I choose the repetition method. I will learn eight drug names every day, and the next day I will memorize eight more, and revise eight from the previous day. The day third, eight more, and will revise 16 from the first two days. The day third, Take a quiz, 25 drugs. I have these quizzes in my channel for you to practice. This method will help you to memorize 200 drug names in 25 days. Number two, one hour every day for math. Number three, one hour for reading a book regularly, pharmacy law, etc. And that's all it takes to complete this exam. It's not hard, but it's required discipline and consistency of hard work. And the last fourth thing I did, I quit dieting and stopped going to the gym. Just joking. Here is my experience from the test. 60% math questions. 30% mixed pharmacy rules. What pharmacy tech can or cannot do. Inventory rules procedures. 10 questions out of 90 were drug names. Focus on math if you really want to pass this test. You will have a couple of questions such as, what do you use to clean the laminar flow hood? Basically, math, math, math and know your common abbreviations, such as QID, BID, about 15 most common ones. And know your conversation from grams to kilograms to pound, etc. Here are some details about the test. You are given two hours to answer the 90 multiple questions. Out of those 90 questions, 10 are unscored. The passing score for the PTCB is a scaled score of 1400. The PTCB is scaled on a range of 1,000 to 1,600. You can retake the PTCB exam. However, you must wait 60 days from the last time you took the exam to apply for the second and third attempts. If you need to take the exam again after the third time, you will need to wait six months for another attempt. The fee to take the pharmacy technician exam is $129. There are nine knowledge domains and areas on the Pharmacy Technician Certification Exam. Pharmacology for Technicians, Pharmacy Law and Regulations, Sterile and Non-Sterile Compounding, Medication Safety, Pharmacy Quality Assurance, Medication Order Entry and Fill Process, Pharmacy Inventory Management, Pharmacy Billing and Reimbursement, Pharmacy Information System Usage and Application. One take a practice test. Make sure that you read each and every question and answer carefully before making your decision. 2. Answer every question. Use guessing as a last resort. If you get done with your exam early and you still have time left, go back and check your answers. Math questions are similar to this. A pediatrician orders amoxicillin 50 mg kg 24 hours to be given in equally divided dosages every 8 hours. The child is 5 years old and weighs 34 pounds. Your pharmacy stocks amoxicillin 250 mg, 5 ml, SUSP 100 ml. How many milligrams will be needed for each dose? Follow the study plan each day and you will pass this pharmacy technician exam. Good luck!